Hello everybody, welcome to the Horror Punks USA podcast exclusively on HP USA TV. Welcome back, we've been gone for two weeks, but we are back and in action. So we got two weeks, count them, two weeks to catch up on. So, let's kick right into where we missed off, and that would be Monday, June 21st. That's where we're going to start. So, on June 21st, Monday of this year, we had Ronan's Toy Box. I guess that's what he's calling it. But he was showing off um, some of his cool NECAs he had. And one was by Moi for his birthday, the lovely Creep Show. Creep. Um, So definitely go check that out if you want to see some of the cool things he has in his collection. As you can tell, I have some of my collection here as well. Nothing really NECA over here, though. Oh, yeah. (laughs) There's a couple NECAs right up top. Would you look at that? Don't even know what I have anymore. But go check that out if you want to see some of his collection and figures. My shirt was getting a little tight there. Sorry. And go check out Rona's Toy Box from Monday. Tuesday, we had a really cool one-time video. We had a reveal of a drum kit who I'm very close with. But we had Dicey Deviant's drum kit reveal. He has a brand new kit that he premiered at Ramon's Gore on Saturday, June 26th. It is a Ghostbusters meets Dicky Devil hybrid kit. I'm sure he's going to be using it for a lot of more shows in the future with Dicky Devil and the Deviants. But you can go check out some videos from the Ramon's Gore that I'll talk about in a minute. And you can see that kit there live on stage. It is a piece of artwork, so definitely go check that video out if you want to see it. Wednesday, we had Ghoul Talk with Anna and Steph, of course. And they were talking about, since it was still Pride Month then, um, they were talking about drag horror. So drag queens and horror movies and TV shows, new movies, old movies. Um, They mentioned American Horror Story, so... Definitely go check that out if you want to see um, some drag horror and talk about that. They mentioned a really cool uh, podcast, I believe, with someone who's in American Horror Story. You gotta go check that out to get the details exactly, but go watch their show. Thursday, June 24th, we had Rachel Rabbit with her Coffins and Curves, or Coffin and Curves, whatever she calls it. Curves and Coffins, I don't know. I don't know. Rachel Rabbit, Coffins and Curves and Coffins, I'm gonna call it for now. Why not? Um, and she was basically doing a vinyl tour of her collection. All I have to say is I approve, so works for me. Friday, June 25th, we had nothing on the YouTube channel. Um, I believe we posted on our social medias some videos leading to Saturday for Ramones Corps, but we did not post on Friday because we were all resting for Saturday so we can give you the best show possible at Ramones Gore. So, that's why nothing was happening on Friday. And Saturday, I did not post because Ramon's gore. So, hopefully you got out there and you got to see you at the show. Got to see you at the show. Hopefully you got to the show and I got to see you at the show. There it is. Um, but if I didn't see you or you didn't make it out, hopefully I'll see you at the next one. But it was an amazing show. Everybody played great The crowd was amazing the whole night. It really seemed like we are getting back to normal life when it comes to music. Killer show, killer bands, killer hangs, all good stuff. I quite enjoyed it. I got to meet Les Throb Zombie from HPUSA TV. Absolutely wonderful person. Coolest dude you can meet. It was all good. We had some great dancers that night. Every band was amazing. Everybody was so friendly and out there and so nice with every. It was amazing. If you weren't there, I wish you could have been there. But you got to come to more shows and see us out there because they are an experience like no other. Sunday, Sunday, we had uh, Rick or Treat and his pumpkin patch on a Sunday. Look at that. But he was doing this little thing we got going on, I guess, with the top 10 non-horror punk bands. Um, 
Rick or Treat's Pumpkin Patch. That was on Sunday. Go see his top 10 non-horror punk bands. Again, I approve. And also, the same day, we had the first video from Ramones Gore get posted. And it was Dickie Devil and the Deviants. And it was them playing I Got Her Hooked live at Ramones Gore from Saturday night. So if you want to see a little peek in the Ramones Gore, if you can make it, go check out that video on Sunday. And that brings us to this week right now that we're in. Monday, June 28th, we had Nikki Casket's Cemetery Hysteria. i sorry, I just love moving like this because this is fun. We had Nikki Casket's Cemetery Hysteria. And he had a really cool announcement with uh, some involvement with Evelyn's Casket. I'm not going to really say too much, but if you go watch his episode from Monday, you'll see what I'm talking about. Tuesday, June 29th, we had another episode. Surprisingly, like he said, he's not canceled yet. Sithis, see my vest. Go check that out. He's got the coolest vest, I think. The work on him is amazing. And I think he does a great job. So definitely go check out that episode to see yet another one of his amazing pieces of artwork. Denim artwork, I should say. And then Wednesday, June 30th, we had another live from Ramones Gore uh, video, and it was um, it was actually the song Teenage Werewolf by the Zonoids. And funny enough, I don't think a lot of people knew this, but on Saturday, that was the Zonoids' first show. And it did not seem like that because they killed it, but it was definitely an impressive, impressive set for a first set. Intro music and everything, it was great, so... If you want to go see a video from their first show ever, which was Ramones Gore on Saturday, we uh, have the song Teenage Werewolf up on HPUSA TV on Wednesday. Also Wednesday, we had a little live stream from Ronin, giving a uh, Horror Punks USA merch update. What we have left, what we're selling, what's coming out, what might be coming soon, so go check that. It's like a half hour live stream, so go check that out if you want to see what... uh, Merch we have left, and if you're trying to get your hands on some stuff, now is the time to get it before it's all sold out. Because I have a feeling some of the designs we have, this is going to be the only time you can actually get them physically. So, definitely go check out Wednesday to see some merch updates from Ronin during that live stream and see what you can get. Thursday, July 1st. Happy July, everybody. It is summertime, basically. It definitely has felt like it here in... Pennsylvania the past couple damn days my goodness this week was hot very very hot and not in a good way not like an ooh la la way but like a it's hot way um Thursday July 1st because we're in July now the ghoul father who was absolutely a joy to see at Ramones Gore we had what's in the box with the ghoul father he was doing a little talking about Ramones Gore and his experience there, which seemed to be all positive. And um, he also had a little um, ban interruption from the Destruct Principal, so, or Principles, I'm not sure if it's plural, but you might want to go check that out to see what that's all about on Thursday. Yesterday, I don't know why I'm pointing in this direction, that's just yesterday to me, I guess. Seven minutes in hell, or as she's calling it now, seven-ish minutes in hell with Anna Hell. And she had an interview with a horror punk band from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania called Dichotomy. I hope I'm saying that right. Dichotomy. She says it right. Everybody else says the things right. I just flub it up. So I'm going to go with Dichotomy. And uh, band members Jimmy and Ryan. It is a two-piece so, go check out that interview. Pretty cool. They have a uh, pretty unique unique sound as it sounds from them. So, I hope my belly button wasn't showing the whole time. Whoopsie. And today is Saturday. Tonight is Saturday whenever you're watching this. And amazing news from all you awesome people. We have hit 666 subscribers. Check it out right there. I wasn't lying, 666 subscribers on the YouTube channel for HPUSA TV. 
Now let's get to 6,666 next and then keep building from there. Please, please, please go like HPUSA TV on YouTube. Go hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not subscribed, go subscribe. If you're listening to this wherever podcasts can be listened to, go to YouTube, go to HPUSA TV, go subscribe. And the deal is still on. I got like three left. So if you would like a Harpunks USA podcast sticker that you cannot get anywhere else, all you got to do, hit that subscribe button and send me a picture of it, a DM it, DM of it <laughs> on Instagram at Johnny Zabo Drums. And I will personally send you an exclusive Harpunks USA podcast sticker for HP USA TV. For the podcast, I am your rockabilly hard drummer, John Zabo. I will see you here next week on the Horror Punks USA podcast.